Hello and welcome to Tights TV, it's Neil Ellis. Uh, today I've got Kayla on, so we're going to have a chat about the Ipswich game, have a look at the Lincoln City game, and also, you know, some players, what we'd like to see, or, you know, juggle about in uh, Barnsley side to try and make it a bit more solid and score some goals. So, Kayla, great to have you on. Thank you. No problem. So, yeah, 2-2 uh, at Ipswich Town, a bit... Uh, People were saying that we're going to lose that game, but it was good to see for me that once we went one note down, we come back and fought back. Um, a, a lot of confidence for you, mate. Um, yeah, but the first half we wasn't on our best game, but second half we got a bit better. Yeah, I mean, I, I kind of agree. I mean, in second half, for some chances for both sides, but for me, it was great to see that the players... I wanted to give the all. Luke O'Connell with cross with Callum Styles as well. Jack yeah. H scored his first goal. But were you were you impressed on how we, we tackled it? Because when we lost against Wickham, we sent to just like heads go down and confidence go. But in, in this game, it sent to be complete opposite where it was. Yeah, we've gone with goal down, but we're going to go and try and attack. Yeah, we was a bit more confident this time. We just... It was the last game we just didn't want to play, did we? No, I, 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 I agree with that. I think we're pressure on it. Uh, there's been some positives for me. Uh, I'm liking that uh, new new striker, that slobber on Tedic. I think he's uh, fit. He seems to be up for it. I think Callum Styles had a good game. The, a, a lot of positives from it. Brad Collins, again, pulling off some good saves. So, I think there's a lot of... A lot of positives to take from that, uh, Caelan, won't you agree? Yeah, because we're up-levelling our game. Up-levelling game and getting a bit better. I think that, you know, we're going to be going into, uh, there's a lot of games coming up. We've got Lincoln City now in Papa John's uh, trophy. Would you expect to see many changes in that? Um, Not really, because we played well with the last team, so we might keep it. Well, right, keep. Yeah. Maybe change the goalie. Yeah. Just don't run the cup. Yeah, it's it's just cup. I mean, I can see Jack Walton coming in uh, goal because he, he started it against Leeds and Middlesbrough, obviously. Uh, I mean, young young Jordan Elliwell and Benson went off injured, so maybe a couple of a couple of changes there. Uh, again, for me. I want I want to change it a bit because we've got a big game coming up against Sheffield Wednesday. We all know about that. So I think if you can try and protect or look after such as Luke O'Connell, uh, Mads Anderson, uh, Benson, if he's out, I'd, I'd rest him. For me, I'd I'd like to start, I don't know about you, I'd like to start Aidan Marsh and Teddy up front to see what they can do. Marsh, I think, is a good player. Mm. I've been wanting him to start for loads of games, but he hasn't. Do you think a game like against Lincoln would be an ideal opportunity to like sit at manager, look, I want to start, I want to play football, and obviously rest such as like Devante, Cole and Aitchison because they've been starting. Would you would you start with Marsh and Tedic? Um, yeah, but Matt, with Marsh, I think he well when we went down, I thought he would be a good player in League One, but I don't know yet because he hasn't been getting them that much game time. Hmm. So I think, yeah, I agree with that. Is For me, give him some game time. I'd like to see him start uh, tomorrow because I think a lot of players will be playing in the Lincoln game to say, look, I want to play against Sheffield Wednesday as well. So it's going to up their game and a bit more confidence in that. So going into Lincoln game, what what, you know, what kind of result would you be looking for? Do you think it's going to be a, an hard fought win? Do you think you know Lincoln City will make changes as well? I'm except, expecting us to win. Lincoln aren't the best team. I'm going to say, with it being obviously, it might be changes both sides and stuff like that. I'm going to say 3 1 Barnsley for that game. Do you agree? Or. Um, yeah. Yeah. And I think if March does start, I could see him gain on the score sheet and confidence. Uh, but I think it's 
we both kind of agree it's going to be it's going to be interesting to see what score is and what team lineups will be. And I think that'll that'll uh, set quite a bit in team lineups on both sides, resting key players in you know with fixtures coming up. So on about obviously players and Marsh and stuff like that, all we've seen. It's transfer week, in it? It's deadline, end of this month, August. There's been rumours going about that we're after a few players. Uh, Callum Wright from Leicester City, an attacking midfielder. Uh, and Brandon Azete from Salford City, a striker. What do you want? Are you wanting any players in? What kind of positions would you like to see, Caelan? I'd like to see like some up level strikers. Strikers? Maybe. Hmm. Maybe some midfielders, because not all of them are great, not all getting good game time. I don't know what they're capable of. Um, I'd like to see a right wing back going, because I, I think we need someone to replace Callum Britton when Callum Britton went. Obviously, Jordan Williams has been playing in that position, but when Jordan Ellenwell came in, he's injured as well. So I think for me, I'd like to see a right wing back come in. Uh, I'd like to see a midfielder come in, someone to take it old, older midfield and take pressure off at young youngsters. I'd also like to see a striker, if not one, definitely one. If we can get two in, that'd be fine. But I'm thinking probably one will probably end up coming in on loan. But for me, I'd like to see a striker come in permanently so it's our player, if you know yeah. what I mean. Do you agree with that? Yeah, but if we only get one striker... Big- we have Norwood, but he's not fully, fully playing his best. Mm. I know he's a little better. Yeah, good point. But just not about Norwood for you. I've, I know he's like experienced and he's got like he's been about at leagues and that. But for me, at minute, I don't know if you kind of agree with this, Caleb. It doesn't seem to be like you touched on it there. It doesn't seem to be. I don't know. Can't put your finger on it. Like hundred percent match fit. It doesn't seem to be a real goal threat at minute, does he? No, he's not. Putting all his, all his work in. Hmm. It's like a bit of frustrating, and you know, if there's a player via, but I don't know if it's whether it's fitness or whether it's I don't, I don't know what it is. He does see. He, he knows where the goal is, but in games I've seen him play, whether he's come off at bench and and or he's starting and he's like been sub subbed off, it seems to be. Opposition, opposition defense seems to be like hustling and bustling and, and muscling them about. But as a as an actual goal threat, I'm thinking mm, I'm not right seeing it at minute. I'm not. I'd like to have, like seen him score a couple of goals and then yeah, do you know what is going to go off for one? But I'm just not seeing it at minute back, Caelan. Yeah, no, what he's got good fitness. He's running all about, but when he gets to the player, he don't put a foot in. Hmm. Yeah, frustrating that, and I've and again I kind of see that frustration in him as well because I've seen him like either arguing or picking up, you know, silly silly free kicks and stuff like that. So I think he's probably frustrated in his own ability as well, but it's not going his way, um, which I hope it does, and it can like knock on and it can rub off confidence. You know, if you're a confident player, other players around you'll be confident as well, won't they? Yeah, he's like not. Working with the team, I don't, I don't think he's not. It must be togetherness. Yeah. Yeah. So we've covered the uh, Ipswich game, a good draw. Obviously the Lincoln City game, we've got, we've touched on that and some players coming in. Uh, do you think it, we'll just end it on this one, then, Caelan? We've got on about players coming in. Can you see any players possibly going out, either on loan or per or, or permanent? Um, I think Styles he might go. Mm. I wouldn't really care if he goes because I don't think he's a very good player. Mm. He's starting to get a bit better. And Cole, I don't want him to go, but he's just not using all of his fitness. Mm. He's jogging everywhere. Mm. Interesting. Interesting thoughts, Caelan. Uh, oh. So we've touched on all aspects from the weekend up until more or less end of this week we have a transfer window so Caelan it's been great having you on mate um, enjoy the game and we'll catch up with you soon hey, thank you for having me on not a problem one thing left to say you Reds